Joining us again this morning on The Blend is Jamie White, White Law PLLC in Okemos. Great to have you back on the program, Jamie. Let's talk a little bit about Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson's recent order. Your thoughts. Sure. Um, first, let me explain to your viewers what's occurred. On October 16th, um, the Secretary of State, under her broad powers as Chief Election Officer, um, prohibited weapons um, at polling stations. Okay. Um, this has become um, quite the controversy uh, because of, I suppose, certain individuals have suggested that people should go to the polling stations and protect and watch and, and this sort of thing. And this has prompted concerns that we may see similar um, activities as what we saw in April at our state capitol. You know, men, um, not all men, but people going to the polling stations um, with weapons um, and is a direct effect intimidating voters and potentially stopping people from vote altogether. So she has prohibited um, weapons within 100 feet of the polling stations. Um, and uh, that was done on October the 16th. Um, it's also important to note, Deb, that you know, many of these polling stations, weapons are already prohibited, right? Churches, schools, libraries, um, you know, so there already is a safeguard in place for many of these locations. But I think what the um, Secretary of State wanted to make clear is that um, she is not going to tolerate voter intimidation of any sort. Well, it's a felony. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. Concern that, that was going to be a widespread issue, that people would be showing up at the polling stations armed, uh, openly carrying? Well, here in the state of Michigan, again, back in April, you know, we saw dozens of men um, go into our state capitol um, with loaded rifles and other weapons um, and literally stand in the gallery over our state Senate while they presided over a session. Now, maybe they were just watching, but I think that common sense suggests that there certainly was an attempt to intimidate. And we know they did intimidate because we heard from several lawmakers that indicated they were very uncomfortable and were not able to do their work. So what do you think is for future, so, so the Secretary of State or released this order recently, how do you, what's the next step in this process? Well, there certainly are, there, uh, the open carry community is threatening um, litigation. I suspect that will happen. You know, it is important to note though, in Michigan, we don't have a law that says it's okay to open carry. That's not what exists. We just don't have a law that prohibits it. Um, so it is legal, but I think that nuance is important for people to keep in consideration as we move forward and address these issues. Always important to have conversations about how the law works and what it looks like and, and the steps that are being taken and, and be informed. Thank you always for stopping yeah. by. It's good talking with you. Thanks for having me, Deb.